Hi, this is Paris Wolf teaching cryptography. Make sure you smash that subscribe button, like, comment if you have any questions. So with crypto cracking, there's the exhaustive search. That's when you're using a brute force to decrypt the ciphertext, trying every possible key. Now the known plaintext. That's when the intruder knows part of the ciphertext and corresponding plaintext. They use the known ciphertext to decrypt the rest of the ciphertext that they don't know. Now in the man in the middle attack, that's when the intruder is hidden between the two parties and they impersonate one or both of them. And so if the network communication, they're intercepting here as it's traveling and they're modifying that data pretending to be this side or this side or both. Now the chosen ciphertext, that's when the intruder sends a message to the target and that is encrypted with their public key and the intruder is able to analyze the message so they have access to the, where they're sending it to. And here are the steps here. Now with crypto cracking, an active attack, that's when the intruder inserts or modifies the messages. So the man in the middle attack, that would be classified as an active attack. Now with the replay attack, that's when the intruder takes a legitimate message and then sends it into the network at some future point. So an example of that would be, let's say you're connected to your Wi-Fi from your computer to your router. Now those Wi-Fi signals, how the attacker would do it, they would jam that signal and then they would unjam it. And then your computer would resend the authentication to be able to connect to the router and the attacker would intercept that and then at a later point would send your legitimate authentication credentials to access the router uh, credentials. And so that would be a replay attack. They're taking that legitimate me message and then sending it later at some future point to be able to access the network. <clears throat> and then there, there's the cut and paste attack, time resetting, a time attack, and the RSA cracking. Uh, the RSA uses a 768-bit key and it's attacked using the factorization of modulus.